Hello, how are you guys? Hello, teacher, how are you? Excellent, and you? Very well. And what did you do today? I don't know, I stay at home. At home. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. taking classes <laughs> ah, okay. for the university. Only for the university, right? Yeah. That's good. And you have a lot of homework. This day was this this day was very busy uh, for the classes, right? Mm -hmm. I I have classes uh, from the seven a.m. And the classes are online. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. But it's it's so tired. Uh, uh, be in sitting in the same place. A lot for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's necessary to move, to change, change position. I think it's too difficult only in one position for a long, long time. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's tired. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, guys, today we're going to begin. First, are there any questions about the platform or the class from yesterday for countable? or uncountable with there is and there are. No? I don't have uh, for me it's clear. Okay. Okay. No questions? We are ready? We are going to use it then to describe problems and solutions in El Salvador, okay? Remember, we use there is or is there for uncountable. We use there are or are there for countable. So what are we going to do with our partners? We're going to talk about problems and solutions in El Salvador. So for example, for me, um, a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise in El Salvador. This is a problem, okay? There is a lot of noise, okay? This is the problem. And the solution, what can be the solution? Uh, the solution I use from the different topics. So the solution, there should be Okay, maybe the, for me, I put there should be more control as an example. More control of the noise. This is what you're going to do with your partner. With your partner, we're going to review a little bit and write down with there is and there are. First, I'm going to show you a little video to help you remember from yesterday how to make questions and how to give solutions. Give an example. Okay. So if you see here, we have count and non-count and we can describe the problems. There are too many, there is too much, there should be, there should be. This, the should be, is the solution. This is your recommendation. Or for example, here, we need, ah, we need more police officer. We need more public transportation. We need more buses. What do you think is the solution? There are two ways to describe it. There should be, or we need, okay? And there are two ways to describe the problem. There aren't enough, or there are too many. We also use the word a lot. You can use a lot for both. Yes? So we can use there are a lot of cars, there is a lot of traffic. A lot is for both countable or non countable. Okay. So maybe for you, the motorcycles, oof, there are too many motorcycles or there are a lot of motorcycles, okay? 
So in this moment with our partners, we are going to practice this. The idea for give the problem and the solution. The problem, oof, a lot of traffic. The solution, there should be fewer cars or there should be more uh, streets. It's okay, the idea? Yeah, it's okay. Any questions before we begin with countable and uncountable? What is uh, the meaning of should? Should, debería. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's used for recommendations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, remember, it's the two things. Problems in El Salvador, in your neighborhood, in the different places, and the solution. The two, in El Salvador, your neighborhood, your street, your area, and the solution for both. I'm going to send you to the group right now, Stephanie. Teacher, I cannot uh, enter the, the group. Okay, let me send you to another group. Let's try another group. Okay. Okay. And now it's okay or no? And no, a journey, nothing. Nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try another group. Well, now up here. Jose, okay. Let me put you to a group, Jose and Norma. Aida, okay, Aida, I send you to a group.
Okay, any questions? Me teacher. Okay. Eh, sí le comprendo para poder hacer la pregunta, pero para la respuesta no le entiendo mucho. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, de, eh, there is eh, a expensive energy electric. Ok. Para, para responder, veo yo que dice que siempre tiene que ir el sujeto más chu, la, la palabra chul. Ok. Sería... There is chul, eh, chul, eh, energy, electric. Mm, no, ¿qué quieres de? ¿Cuál es la solución, Yancy? Ah, oh. la solución sería de que hubiesen más paneles solares. Ok, entonces eso tiene que decirlo en inglés. Vamos a empezar estructurándolo con lo que acabamos de ver. There y lo que tú mencionaste. Estás correcta. There should, no there is, ni there are. There should be, y be. más paneles solares. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, esa sería la respuesta. ¿Y cómo se dice más paneles solares? No sé. ¿Cómo se dice más? More. Excelente. Así es. There should be more solar panels. There should. Ok. There should be more. Yancy, it's okay. Lo último, ¿cómo lo dijo? Está en el chat, Yancy. Ahorita. Ok. Two en... more so solar panel. Correct. So, ok. So, Yancy. Sí. Lo que tienes que hacer es, fíjate, cómo describimos el problema. El problema es que decís, es, la energía es muy cara, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Ok. So, entonces, the electricity is, the electricity is too expensive, muy caro. Y ahí pone, exacto, y después puedes usar, there should be, or we need, or we must, y ahí puedes ir poniendo diferentes soluciones al problema. Ah, ok. También puedes poner, necesitamos más paneles solares, we need, y lo mismo. More solar panels. Todo depende de lo que tú crees que es la solución al problema. Ok. Si tú crees que es algo que necesitamos, we need. Si tú crees que es algo que deberíamos de hacer, es we should. We or there should. Should be. Ok. Ok. La palabra should be, entonces en conjunto sería debería. Correct. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Yancy. No, the others are okay. It's okay. All right. Excellent. So now with our partners, we are going to go and we have three minutes and we want to go and check here, 2.5 in the platform. So 2.5 in, in the platform, which is the correct, select with your partners, which answer is the correct or the word to complete the sentence, okay? For this, only three minutes with our platform, with our partners, and then we try. Let's try again. <clears throat>
Okay, you ready to check? Any questions? All it's okay. All is okay? Okay, let's take a look. Let's make sure that everything is clear and then we can practice a little bit more about which is correct. Let's see. Number one, who is going to do number one? The second one. The second one, okay. Number one, oops, sorry, here we go. Number one, the second one, okay. What about number two? First one. First one. The first. Okay, number three? The third one. The third one, okay. Number four? The first. first. The first? Yeah. Okay. And number five, what is the correct word? More. More. Okay. Hey, very good. More is the correct answer. Is less noise. There is too much pollution in my city. More highways. And of course, there aren't enough police officers in my city. Okay. Excellent. Now, let me listen to your problems and solutions for El Salvador or your neighborhood, okay? Alma, tell me a problem and a solution in your neighborhood. Hello, hello teacher, is repeat question, please. Yes, tell me a problem and a solution for El Salvador. A uh, solution for the, uh, we all has more a uh, hospital. And what is the problem? If, if the problem is uh, I I need we all have more hospital in El Salvador. This is the solution. What is the problem? Um the uh, problem sería uh, uh, there there are no hospital in El Salvador. Okay, similar, good. Okay, so we have good. Please, please, please teacher, uh, este, tengo esa confusión. Dice que yo puedo hacer la solución, pero la pregunta del problema no sé cómo darle, darle la, la vuelta. Es que no hay, no hay pregunta. ¿Cómo hago? Es que no, no hay pregunta, hay. las dos son oraciones. Mm, en, entonces el problema, ¿cómo, cómo lo, 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 lo representaría siempre? Ajá, pues, lo, igual que en español, no hay ninguna pregunta, solo es, ¿cuáles son los problemas de El Salvador? Mm, ah, ok, entonces sí. está bien cuando yo digo, there should be, be fewer cars. Ok, there should be fewer cars. Ok, esta es la solución. ¿Y por qué deben, ah. de, haber, ¿por qué deben de haber menos carros? Por el tráfico, por el, porque tal vez así hubiera menos tráfico. Entonces, ¿cuál es el problema? Eh, el eh, el tráfico. Ok, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, sería, there, there are traffic. No, there are, there is. There traffic. is traffic, uh, there is traffic in El Salvador. Exactly, or there is a lot of traffic in El Salvador. And okay. the solution, uh -huh. the solution, there should be, um, sorry, there should be fewer cars. Mm, okay, uh, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. 
screen, sorry. So let's try another one. Let's make sure that it's clear for everybody. Okay, uh, Annalisa, give me a problem and a solution. Um, the problem, um, there are many feeling of trees. And the solution, um, we show plant more trees. Okay. Okay. So the problem, one more time. What is the problem, Annalise said? There are too many feeling of trees. There are many trees. Anna? Sí. Eso es lo que dijiste. There are many trees. There are too many feeling of trees. There are too many trees. There are too many trees. Is that correct, Ana? Ahí está en el chat para que puede confirmar lo que estás diciendo. Feeling of trees. Million. Sala de árboles. Huh? Sala de árboles. Tala. Sí. Ah, ¿y qué, ¿y qué palabra dijiste? Eh, no sé si es correcta la que he puesto. ¿Cómo se, cómo se, dice, esa, se dice tala? No, no, ¿qué dijiste vos? Que no. <risa> <risa> Many of trees. Ok. Pero es que en esa oración no hay tala, por eso pregunto, ¿cuál palabra cree vos que es tala? Feeling. Billy. Así, Billy. We used, used to. Sorry, Anna. Failing. No. Failing. No. Failing. Okay. No. no. Failing. Failing. It's incorrect or incorrect? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. La idea es para saber para entender lo que quería decir o, o qué. A, a mí me suena okay. excelente. Mi pronunciación no es correcta. No, no, no. Es que no sé cuál, qué palabra quieres decir. Uh -huh. Sí, por eso. Si quieres escribirlo en el chat para ver qué palabra es la que querías decir y te digo cómo se pronuncia. Sir, in this case, uh, could we use... Uh, uh, could for the same problem. For example, Cesar? <clears throat> I don't know, but I have a, a bad connection right now. So, uh, could uh, we use uh, could for Tala? For example, uh, I don't know, there, there is uh, a lot of cut of or trees. Ah, de, de, de cortar. Yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes, similar, similar. The only the pronunciation says that good. There are, is the pronunciation is cut, cut, okay. Cut. It, yes, okay. It's similar, there are, only we change. There are many, okay. Many trees being cut. There are many trees being cut. Okay. I think Anna disappeared because never finished the, the things, but 
Okay. All right. So, so, so that one, not too good. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's see. Um, Jose Carlos, give me a problem and give me a solution. And the problem is a, there is the trash. Okay, there is trash. Good, and the solution? There is trash. Uh, there should uh, be more basureros. Trash cans. Trash cans? Correct. There should be more trash cans. Good, okay. Let me explain a little bit. I think maybe we have a little confusion. Okay, we can use should is normal to use should, pero también pueden poner otros verbos. ¿Qué es lo que necesitan? Por ejemplo, we need. In the case of Alejandro, we need more trash cans. We need more trees. No hay árboles. ¿Qué necesitamos? La solución. Necesitamos más árboles. We need more trees. Deberíamos sembrar. Ah, we should plant more trees. They are two different. So it's not only should, not only should, it's different ways to give the solutions. That's the important, okay? okay. The same, we, uh -huh. the same, we have different ways to express the problem. Ah, in El Salvador, eh, we, there is a lot of trash, okay? Uh, no problem, there is too much trash. Okay, no problem. The two the problems. This is the, the difference. Okay. It's okay, guys. There is and there are. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. So now let's go ahead and continue. If there are no questions with there is and there are, today we are going to go over to uh, this one we already checked. Here, we are going to go into indirect questions, okay? Let's see for this one. Let's read, uh, Diego, Diego, can you please read the objective? Okay, but I watch my, my screen, my okay. computer. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, the, learn how to ask and answer the indirect question in English. In this lesson, practice using indirect question, be discussing, and consider our new destination. By the end of the class, you will be able to form pol polite indirect question, such as, uh, could you tell me where the, the bank is? Do you know where is the nearest ATM is? Can you tell me uh, how often do you bounce it wrong? And do you know what, do you know where you can catch the bus? The bus? This lesson will help you seek information using polite, uh, grammatically, correctly in English. Okay, very good. The idea is indirect. Okay, a little bit different. Decimos indirect, pero en realidad no son preguntas indirectas, son preguntas que son amables, preguntas que, son, que no son eh, ofensivas. Es, this is the idea of indirect questions. And for indirect questions, preguntas que son eh, amables o en una forma, mejor dicho, no más tan, educada. Más educado, yes. We use the words or the expressions, could you tell me? Do you know? And can you tell me? We use, could you tell me? Do you know? And can you tell me? These are the things that we use to make indirect questions. So what is a direct question? Direct question is the question, okay? For example, what time is it? This is direct question. Indirect, okay? Could you tell me? And then the question. What time it is? This is the indirect question. We're going to watch a small video 
to understand a little bit more about indirect and how to make indirect questions. We're going to watch part of a video. We'll need to have an... Okay. So here we can see we have a lot of direct questions. WH, where is the bank? Where are the restrooms? How often? Se fijan todos son WH, ¿verdad? Indirect, forma más amable. Could you tell me? Do you know? Fíjense aquí, el verb to be, in the verb to be, we change the position. No, where is the bank? Here, could you tell me where the bank is? The verb to be at the end. Here, where are the restrooms? Do you know where? The restrooms are the verb to be at the end. This is the idea of indirect questions, to be nicer. In the questions We're talking about the past here with the do, how often do, for example. Okay. Indirect questions disappear the do, disappear the does, disappear the okay. Con los auxiliares do or does desaparecen. So how often do the buses leave? Can you tell me how often the buses leave? Fíjense que ya el do ya desapareció. Ah, what time does the bank open? Be able to change this question. What time does the bank open? In the indirect, do you know what time the bank opens? Desaparece el do, desaparece el does. Pero usamos como si fuera oración. The bank con S, the bank opens. The buses sin S porque son plurales, the buses leave. Okay. So what is the purpose? Is like this. You put the expression. Could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? This is the first. Look, here are the expressions. Then the WH word. What, where, when, and then the subject the bank, the store, the classes, and then the last, the verb. If is verb to be, if is do or does, no, only the action. So, so, it's okay? So, so. Okay. So, so. So, so. Okay. Ahora, vamos a ver también indirect okay, questions. Question. Con preguntas directas, con preguntas de yes, no. For example, okay, uh, you have, is there, for example, is there a hospital? Yo voy a un lugar y a mí me interesa saber, is there a hospital? Pero esto es muy directo, muy, no una forma amable o no una forma bonita, educada de decirlo. Entonces, ¿qué voy a usar? Las expresiones que acabamos de ver. Ah, can you tell me? Y como solo es, is there, para las preguntas de yes, no, tengo que usar if. Can you tell me if there is a hospital? Ok. ¿Cómo lo que vamos a hacer? Simplemente vamos a hacer la expresión, can you tell me, could you tell me, do you know? Y después voy a poner la palabra if y la como que si fuera oración. Can you tell me if? Y después la oración. There is a hospital. Estos son para yes, no. Si yo te hubiera preguntado where, where is the hospital? Ok. Es a WH question. Vamos a ver la misma forma. Can you tell me? Para todos los que no están seguros, lo estoy escribiendo en el chat para que lo puedan ir anotando. Todo está en el chat porque yo veo que algunos andan perdidos, pero está en el chat. Okay. Can you tell me where? The hospital is. ¿Qué es la diferencia? Si, si solo es un yes, no, ten, siempre mantenemos el is. Solo que lo vamos a poner como oración con if. Can you tell me if there is a hospital? Si es WH, lo que hacemos es que lo cambiamos al final. Can you tell me where the hospital is? 
¿Está bien con el verbo to be? I have a question. Okay, what's the question? I can say, do you know where is the hospital? You can and it's say, correct? You can oh. say, this is a direct question. Ah, it's a direct question. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Do you know? Oh, I'm do sorry. you know? Yeah, yes. do you know? Yes, yes. Where is the... Uh -huh. Do, do you, you know, know where, where, is, where is the hospital? No. Do you know where the hospital... The hospital is. Correct. Do you know where the hospital is? Excellent. Correct. This is the indirect. You are right. Uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Wait, the verb to be you put in the end. Because it's, in, it's indirect question. Is what? Is indirect question. Always when it's an indirect question, the verb to be is in the end. Correct. Okay. Maybe can you say, can you say, can you tell me where is the hospital? No. Look, look, can you tell me where the hospital is? The verb to be is at the end. Just teacher, I, I, I understand the, the exercise, but I don't know, I don't understand why it, the verb to be, if uh, to put in the end. Because it's an indirect question. So it's not the structure of a question. Already we put in the beginning, could you tell me? And then we change the verb to be at the end. And if it's verb, if it's auxiliary do or does, it, the do or does disappear, no do or does. For example, here, how often do buses leave? In indirect, the do, no more do. Only the verb, how often the buses leave? No, how often do. Okay, thank you, teacher. You sure, Karen? I need practice, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. No problem, Karen. It's only change the position, only for change the position to be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, can you read in what, what, puede escribir en el chat cuáles son las, los inicios de las horas de las preguntas indirectas? Como, do you know? Uh, can you tell me? ¿Y cuál es el otro? No recuerdo. No sé si lo podría escribir en el chat. Son los que estaban enseñando ahorita. Could you tell me? Do you know? And can you tell me? Son los tres. Could you tell me? Do you know? And can you tell me? What is the meaning, could you tell me? Podría. ¿Me puedes decir? Ok, me puedes decir. Mm -hmm. But I put in the chat to help you. Can you? Thank you. Tell me. For example, could you tell me and do you, do you know? Okay. Con eso van a iniciar las preguntas. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer preguntas directas y el compañero va a hacer la indirecta. Por ejemplo, ok, yo te pregunto, ok. ¿Cómo va a ser el indirect question? The direct question, where is Metro Centro? Escríbenlo, escríbenlo en el chat. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Nada de copiar. Tenemos 15 segundos, 15 segundos. Solo vamos a hacer una oración. Esa. Where is Metro Centro? Lo vamos a convertir en indirect. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Okay. Stephanie, good. Cesar, good. Uh-huh. 
Alejandra, good. Ok, Miguel, yes. Ok, le entendí. Excelente. Y eso vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer las dos. Vamos a hacer WH and yes, no. Vamos a practicar con el compañero. Ok. Así, simplemente. Vamos a poner, le voy a decir a mi compañero, hey, what time is it? Where do you live? Eh, where do you work? What, what do you do? Y compañero, lo vamos a hacer el indirect. Where do you work? Could you tell me where you work? What do you do? do uh, could you tell me what you do? ¿Verdad? Can you, could you, and do you know? It's okay? We are going to take direct questions and make indirect. Listo, pregunta, duda. No, ok. Entonces, nuevamente, preguntas directas, la convertimos en indirectas. ¿Cuáles son las tres que podemos usar? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Do you know? Así vamos a empezar. Si es yes, no, o sea, si es la pregunta con do you, does he, lo, lo que sea que es una yes, no question, vamos a usar if. Si la pregunta es WH, vamos a usar el WH. Ok. Let's try. Five questions, five questions. Vamos a hacer, lo voy a poner en el chat para que no se vayan a confundir. Va a ser three WH questions. Ok, three WH questions. Para que practiquen los dos. And two, yes, no questions. Así estamos seguros que tengan las dos formas. Ok. Let's go.
Norma, any questions? Norma? Sí, teacher. Any questions? No, es que me, me sacó el internet y tuve que volver a entrar. Ah, vaya, vaya. Ok, vamos a ver si entendimos bien y lo podemos hacer bien. José Isaías, dale una pregunta a José Carlos. Él lo va a hacer en indirect. Ok, teacher. Um, can be, when is your birthday? Ok. Can you tell me uh, when your birthday is? Excellent. Very good, José Carlos. Good. All right. Jose Carlos, tell Aida Lisette a question. Aida Lisette, make indirect. Uh, where is the stadium? Um, <clears throat> could you tell me? Uh, could you tell me if if there is a stadium? Mm, no. No. Could you Could you, tell, could you tell me where is the studio is? Más o menos, pero dijiste dos veces is. No where is the stadium is. Where? Ah, okay, yes. Could you, could, could you tell me where the stadium is? Correct. That is correct. Good, Aida Lisset. Aida Lisset, ask Diego. Okay. Um, Uh, for example, where is the bookstore? Okay. What is the, I don't know, understand it when the, the end of the question. The bookstore. Books. What is a bookstore? I don't know if it's a bookstore. A bookstore is, for example, in La Ceiba, a International. Bookstore. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it, yes, I, I, I know. Library. So, <laughs> could you tell me uh, where the book the bookstore is? The R, that case, or is? I don't know. Say no. Bookstore is singular, yeah. Yes, singular. Is. Correct. So is, could you tell me where the the bookstore is? Correct, Diego. Good, Diego. Ask Harrison. Okay. Uh, 
How often, how often do you take a bus? Um, how often do you take a bus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how often do you take a bus? Do you know? Uh, a bus? No. Bus. How often do bus. you take a bus? Ah, bus. Yes. A bus, <laughs> escuchaba yo. Bus. <laughs> I'm sorry for pronunciation. <laughs> Oh. Um, the Seria, can you tell me? Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me how often do you do you take a bus igual or no? Solo que acordate cuando es do or does, eso lo eliminamos, ya no aparece en la pregunta. Ah. Intenta una vez más. Uh, can you tell me how often? Mm -hmm. How often? How often you take a bus? Correct, correct. Porque el duel does simplemente se va y se elimina. Excellent, excellent. Let's uh, try okay. one more. Herson, ask Jose Jovito. Okay, Jose. Um, what time is it? What time is it? Okay. Could you tell me what time it is? Excellent. Excellent. Démosle otro más. Jose Jovito, ask Yancy Rivas. Okay. Yancy okay. Rivas. Sería... Where it sería, do you know where to the hospital in San Salvador? Okay, mm -hmm. la pregunta es, where is the hospital in San Salvador? Okay, where in the hospital when in San Salvador? Okay. Can, you, can you tell me where uh, there is hospital in San Salvador? So, 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 can you tell me where, y aquí vamos a poner the hospital in San Salvador is, el verb to be va a ir al final, siempre vamos, lo ponemos al final con WH questions, can you tell me where, there a hospital, where the hospital, where the is. hospital, uh -huh, where the hospital is, or where the hospital in San Salvador is. In San Salvador is. Correct, correct. All right, guys, we are going to pause there and tomorrow we continue and we practice more. We practice more the two, the counts, non-counts and indirect questions, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night.